Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to look in on one of my worm composting experiments, which is the weight bin or weight expectation bins, where we're looking to see what our inputs as far as weight go result in how much weight of the castings. So right now, this morning, we are at 14.9 pounds, 6.65 uh, kilograms. So it is again lost, you know, a little over a pound. And let's take a look and see what this guy's doing. I do remember saying that the peppers had been frozen and that we couldn't expect to find any um, seeds. Uh, color me wrong. That's what we've got today is we've got a bunch of pepper seedlings, which is fine. They will eat. So looking at what happened last time, uh, it had lost, it lost 1.2 pounds due to evaporation or whatever in between. So this month when we're looking in on it, uh, we're going to, I'll put a graph in there for you to show you what we've put in and you know what it's lost, but it was 16.4 pounds when we left it. So, looking at this here, again, they still have their bad life choices with their fruit flies, and now they've added springtails to the uh, buddy list. I need to get my gnat uh, traps up and going again. I'll put a, a link to my gnat trap video at the end there. But looking in here, the top looks a bit dry. I don't know if we're going to get a worm ball been quite a bit of time since the last time we saw them but the moisture is really good so the bubble wrap is doing its job so we're just going to kind of combine in those sprouts and they will become food not the right time of the year to try and grow a forest of peppers unfortunately so although I do have enough jalapenos overwintering in my basement that I don't actually need any new jalapeno plants at all even though I'm in zone 5, I continue to grow peppers in my basement over the winter, kind of put them into a pseudo-dormancy, and uh, then they wake up in the spring. Alright, looks like the worms are doing pretty good. They've uh, got cocoons in here, so they're they're happy. Um, wait, what is that? Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. Some kind of bug, don't know what it is. Might, might be, I don't know. I'll look it up. If I can get a picture of it, I will look it up and tell you what it was. Generally, if it's not a springtail or a mite or a roly-poly, I will pull it out, unless I'm, I'm sure that it's not harmful to my worms. Sometimes I'm wrong, and they were friends, and you know, I suppose if they're meant to be, they'll come back. So I'm just going to make this all homogenous again so that the moisture in the bedding, you know, will stay good and even. So let's see what we have got today. Well, kind of, uh, I'm going to add a little bit of bedding. Alright, so I'm letting the weight stabilize right now. And then, uh, because I want to make sure that the solids and the liquids are added uh, separately, because of course water weighs more than just some fluffy paper. Let's see, what did that move it up to? So that was uh, 0.6 of a pound. I'll put the metrics in there for you. And then I'm going to get them some water. Okay. So that's about a pound, meh, pound and a half of water. I have a feeling that water is what we're losing, you know, when we come back every month. So it's good to know what, what we're adding and what we are probably subtracting, which is water. All right, so we're giving them two liters of a uh, of food which has brought it up to 18.8 .8 pounds so that's about two 2.2 .2 pounds of food there in two liters then we're gonna give them a little bit of worm chow which generally doesn't move the bubble but give them some fast food raw pumpkin may not you know have enough for them to get into immediately so there you go 0.3 pounds of worm chow there, which does include um, some grit. I'll put the recipe for the worm chow um, down there as well. And then we're going to cover this up, and I will put the graph below as to what we've done so far 
and put your predictions below how many pounds of food or kilograms in whoever's case how many kilograms of food is it going to take in order to make the finished castings for here and how much do you end up with generally this ends up with about 20 pounds of castings when it's all done um, so how many pounds of food do you think it's going to take to get to that all right guys well if you liked this video go ahead and give it a muddy thumbs up if you're not a member of my worm family click that subscribe button and if you want to know what i'm doing when i'm doing it ring that bell icon all right guys thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day